Hi, I'm Sarah Richter and I'm going to show you how to capture your motion using Microsoft's Kinect with our Cinema 4D Prime plugin, The Recording Room. First, connect the Kinect to your computer. Then, open Cinema 4D. In Cinema 4D's main menu, under Plugins, go to Cinema 4D Recording Room Cobalt Kinect Mocap. If you didn't connect the Kinect to your computer, you will get an error message. In that case, connect the Kinect to your computer and restart Cinema 4D and then our plugin. In our case, we're just going to click on OK. Here's our skeleton and this window on the left is our user interface. Never try to modify the Kinect's angle manually. Always change the angle here. You have a range of plus minus 27 degrees. Once you hit enter, the Kinect's angle is modified according to your settings. We'll just go back to zero. If you activate the option seated mode, the Kinect only records movements from your waist up. FPS stands for frames per second and we are going to leave the default value 30 frames per second. Choose at which frame the recording will start. The timeline automatically adjusts to the new value. We will go back to zero. Frames to record tells the time you will record. Choose 1500 and with 30 frames per second you will record 1500 frames divided by 30 which is 50 seconds. Click on the button on. Now this is really cool because the user interface was designed so it can be used by one person. Once the countdown starts, you still have time to position yourself in front of the Kinect. The Kinect data transfer to the skeleton started and the skeleton moves just like me. However, the recording won't start until you activate it through a gesture, moving your right arm up and down as the skeleton is. We are recording now, waving, jumping and so on. Always stand facing the Kinect. You can always rotate your character inside the scene later. The bars on the side indicate if you are inside, then it turns green, or outside, then it turns pink, of the Kinect's recording area. We recommend marking the Kinect recording area on the floor with tape. Great! Now save the file under a different name. We'll use mocap1. You can and should save it outside Maxon's plugins folder. If you hit play, you can always view your movements again. That's it! You have just completed your first motion capture recording. Goodbye and see you in the next video.